It's a top that trade day. Joining us now, Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network contributor, and Alan Nuckman, a pro trader at Agora Financial. Good to see you there, guys. Round number one, race to the bottom. The U.S. dollar hit a two-year low this week. Will that lead to negative yields in bonds? It may. Uh, you think that there's going to be more stimulus on the way. Uh, that's weak in the dollar here. And uh, it seems like there's more money coming into the system. And it's been a, a race to the bottom. What's bigger deal for me, obviously, we've been talking about this dollar dive as being a catalyst. The bigger deal for me is finally seeing the VIX back below the 20 level. And let's remember, there's still a long, 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 long ways to go on the downside for the VIX and upside for the market because the low last December was 11. So there's still more positivity left if the VIX can continue to go down. You know, I, I think when I, I want my uh, economics books that I had when I was in high school and college to throw those away, right? You know, could they have ever envisioned anything like this? I mean, this, this isn't supposed to be happening, right? We're not supposed to be non-fearful at a time when interest rates are below zero and, and stock markets at all time highs. So this is really unprecedented, right? You know, did anybody, you know, believe, you know, 10 years ago that we would be, you know, having interest rates where they are now? They aren't. So we're seeing something very historic but I agree, very positive. You know, I think what we're seeing here is that, that companies around the world are starting to benefit from these negative interest rates. Here's your question for round number two. Seaweed saves. Algae can create energy and cows release emissions. What happens if cattle eat seaweed supplements? Will this mean a great trade for live cattle or for crude? But listen, it just shows you science is absolutely incredible. You know, just when they tell you it's impossible, it can't be done. You know, people were saying, get rid of all the cows. We're all going to be buying Beyond Meat stock and eating, you know, veggie burgers for the rest of our life. If we get to save the planet, guess what? Scientists are going to find a way when the prices are high enough. So I want to see you on that research uh, farm there, Phil, collecting the <laughs> methane. So that's, that's got to be a way for you. But looking yeah. at cattle, cattle's been trading between 100 and 120 now for almost the whole year. So that targets a breakout of 140. And we were at 140 just a couple of years ago. So cattle's making a comeback. Crude oil, again, is stalling here at this 45 level, but that's very healthy. So I like both of those markets. But it is amazing that science can overcome almost any issue. And they only need a little bit of this red seaweed to uh, to uh, prevent, they just knock off 98% of their emissions. So that's interesting. But Go to the farm and get studied. Get 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 knee deep in this and let's get an answer. Round number three, crash crushed. After a November to remember, Bank of America now forecasting 5.4% GDP in 2021. Is it a perfect pop possible and how do you play it? You cannot predict a crash. We've been doing this show for now more than, I think, more than 10 years. And people have been asking every single week, when is the crash going to come? You can't predict it. It's like an earthquake. It's like a shark fight. That's not the business we're in. We're in the business of making money. There's always going to be opportunity. And it just happens that the last decade uh, plus the opportunity has been on the upside. You buy dips, you sell, you sell into strength. So that's the strategy. The markets are going to do what they're going to do. It's our job to extract profits out of it, no matter what the conditions are. I don't want to jinx it, but the uh, stock market had the best month since 1987. We all know what happened there. But you know what? Even if you go back to the 87 market crash, you've got to have binoculars or really good glasses to see it on a long-term chart. Here's your bonus round question for today. All are true or all are false. December is the best month to buy a wedding dress, a new car, and a new mattress. I'm going to say triple true, even though the odds, usually we had a 50-50 on true and false, but it's still 50-50. I'm saying true across the board. So there's a strange combination, but I, I guess it's got to be true because if you're going to get married, you're going to need a new car and you're going to need a new mattress. So, uh, yeah. They're all true. Great job. Two winner, winner chicken dinners. Thank you so much. Business First AM continues right after this. AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.